Some news out this morning from the Washington Post, that story published in the last couple of hours, Lisa. And here's the quote that's going to get a lot of runtime today. Vaccinated people infected with the Delta variant may be able to spread the virus as easily as unvaccinated people. This according to unpublished data cited in a federal presentation obtained by the Post. And the question I have is why did the federal government not release this data publicly when they were uh, re-implementing mask mandates? The idea here, recommending masks, you could get people to do it if they understood what the logic was behind it. If that's the case, why isn't there more clarity on this, John? Well, let's try and get some some clarity now. Andy Pecos joins us. John Hopkins University Bloomberg School, a public health professor and virologist. Andy, good to catch up as always. And hard for me to get you to comment on an internal document that you haven't seen either. But does this reconcile with your experience at the moment as well? Well, what we've been hearing anecdotally is that, you know, there have been cases of Delta in vaccinated people. Uh, I think the other thing to emphasize is as case numbers increase, the number of exposures that vaccinated people have to Delta virus increases as well. So we would expect to see some slight increase in cases in vaccinated people. Now, the critical thing that we're learning now, though, is just how much more dangerous the Delta variant is compared to others, other variant strains. And it really does seem like the data that was first coming out in unvaccinated people is really being amplified in that population. And that is that this virus is incredibly more contagious. Um, if you get infected, you get more virus in your system after infection. And what follows from that is that you become more contagious. So even if vaccinated people have a 10 to 100 fold lower amount of virus in their system, yeah. that still may push them over the limit of when they could be showing symptoms or spreading the virus. So Andy, I wonder what this would mean for restrictions, because just because you can spread it as easily as the unvaccinated, it doesn't mean that you are necessarily more likely to be infected by it. Of course, that's not the case at all. So Andy, what do you think this would mean for restrictions? Yeah, I, I think it's, it's, it's a cause for concern. So I've got my mask on again here today. Our hospital complex today just want in, reinstituted masking policies, even among vaccinated people, simply because we as an institution need to be much more careful about potential infections and the spread of infections here. So I think this is all going to go back to what's your local situation look like. If you're in a place where Delta is really, really spreading fast, then extra precautions need to be put in place. But but let's be clear, if we had a higher vaccinated population in this country, these concerns would be released. And that comes back to the core issue. Masking vaccinated people helps. The critical thing would be to increase the number of vaccinated people in this country and to do it rapidly.